Hi LEGO fans! Can you believe we're already seven days into Advent? As well as LEGO Advent calendars, I also have a chocolate one. But it seems to think it's Christmas Eve already. Last year I had one with doors that ended in 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. I thought, well that's odd. <laughs> Wednesday's Wealth of Wonders included a nice but predictable snowman which earned last place and one point for LEGO friends. LEGO City was pretty much on a par with their ice sculpture earning fourth place and two points. Marvel came middle table with this theme deficient gift wrapping table. Harry Potter came second earning four points for this collection of Zonko's fireworks. But it's always a good day when you pluck a minifigure kicking and screaming from their cardboard tomb. Star Wars won gift of the day and five points for their 212th attack battalion clone trooper. So after revealing 30 of this year's submissions from every LEGO advent calendar, it's not good news for LEGO City in last with 16 points. With the same tally of shame is LEGO Friends, also with 16 points. Doing slightly better with 21 are the Marvel Avengers, and they're joined in second place by LEGO Star Wars. That means this year's leader for Advent Calendar of the Year 2023 is Harry Potter. But can Barry Trotter maintain the lead? Let's tear open those doors! We're starting today's train crash with LEGO Harry Potter and we're up to door number seven. Let's see what we've got today. And uh, what have we got? Okay, it's some kind of trolley. Now I immediately think of the um, the trolley on Hogwarts Express, but I'm not sure that would be the case here, uh, particularly with the red and yellow colouring. That would be the Honeydukes Express, the, um, the trolley, which is pushed by the trolley witch on the Hogwarts Express. Um, very colourful, I'll give it that, and some really nice, uh, or certainly one very nice uh, glittery element, that's a really nice colour. Um, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what they're selling here on the trolley, so let me put this together and see if we can figure it out. And so from LEGO Harry Potter we have a trolley full of mystery goodies. Now we all know about the trolley on the Hogwarts Express. This is actually known as the Honeydukes Express and is run by the same couple who run the sweet shop in Hogsmeade. This, on the other hand, I do not think is the same thing. The red and yellow colour scheme makes me think this is from Zonko's, just like the gift we got yesterday. This is definitely designed to be moved around as we have a handle and wheels that really spin. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Star Wars. It actually rolls along rather well. I think we can all agree this is some kind of merchandise cart. But what mysterious magical merch is this? This LEGO element is definitely a clockwork key. I'm just not sure what it's meant to be from a Wizarding World perspective. It can't be a sneaker scope because those are made out of glass. The Tremulous Trio did use some kind of clockwork doohickey in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'm completely stumped by this, so it's your opportunity to show me up in the comments. The other items are equally perplexing. The Glitter Trans Purple 1x1 cone is very nice, but what is it meant to be? I don't think it's Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. Maybe this is Tempest in a bottle, or maybe it's just some shiny thing that LEGO thought would look cool. The brown element on the left does look like something we got in the LEGO Friends calendar. I don't think I need to remind you of that one. Could this be a dung bomb? I'm also not sure about the trans dark blue kind of glittery element, or the white poop-like thing. Maybe it's Frogspawn soap, or maybe I'm overreaching. I'm also curious about the colourful 1x2 plates. Are these decoration, or are those boxes of merchandise? If you've got any clues then please do share in the comments. It's certainly a nice colourful gift, but I'm not sure Zonko's mystery merchandise is going to cut it in the scoring today. So an interesting start from LEGO Harry Potter, but can the LEGO friends take it to the next level? Let's see what we've got behind door number seven, and what do we have? Um, oh, okay, that's kind of cute. What is it? Is that a fro No, it's not a frog. Uh, let's have a look at the actual thing. Oh, he's got a tail. Um, yeah, some kind of lizard. So we've got a lizard, I guess, and um, some festive coloured... Uh, Foliage, um, yeah, nice. Um, kind of keeps in theme with the uh, the pet theme. Um, very small gift today, but looks really cute. So I'll have to get the macro lens on this, and uh, yeah, let's see how this does. Well, you've got to hand it to them. Not you, Autumn. You're excused. Lego Friends does sure know how to make cute gifts. Except for you, Diabito. Step away from the churros. This happy little chappy is Popcorn the Gecko. Popcorn also appeared in the 30633 Skate Ramp Polybag, 
41735 Mobile Tiny House and 41739 Leanne's Room. That also featured Autumn. I'd really like to see more sets featuring Autumn, maybe Autumn's second hand store. In an attempt to make this vaguely festive, Popcorn the Gecko is sitting on some festive foliage. I guess a pair of leaves and a red element kind of looks like Holly. Of course the star of the show is Popcorn. I particularly like the printed pattern on Popcorn's posterior. That's pretty detailed for a complicated shape. The face is absolutely adorable but does have some printing defects. You can see where the white ink hasn't quite adhered to the left eye. To give you a sense of just how small this is, Popcorn sits on a single stud of a fluff coloured base plate. You can't hide anything from these macro lenses. Popcorn is super cute, super tiny and worthy of festive consideration. Fair play Lego friends. Best of all, he's not tried to sell me anything and he doesn't speak with a stupid British accent. I'm looking at you Geico. Is Popcorn the Gecko destined for gift of the day? We'll find out in a few minutes. So an interesting play from the Heart Lake City Mafia bringing out a cute animal. Uh, let's see what we've got. This is Lego Star Wars and door number seven. Let's see what we have today. We have, what do we have? Maybe some kind of ship? Yeah, wings maybe? You know what? I have no idea what this is meant to be. Uh, but I'm very resourceful. I will go and find out what on earth this is meant to be and I'll share it with you in just a second. So from Lego Star Wars we got this. Can you tell what it is yet? Maybe if I do this. This is based on 40558 Clone Trooper Command Station and is a Clone Trooper Command Station. As you're not a commander, you better beat it. These were designed to be used by Clone Trooper Commanders in battle. Each vehicle would hold two individuals standing up. Speaking of clones, I had a fling with my clone back in the 1980s. Dating myself a little there. We're a little short on space here, but you can get the Clone Trooper inside. There are hinged ramps on each side and these fold down for stability when the command station is not moving. I'm guessing the thing on the back mounted on a ball joint is part of the communication system. There should be a projectile missile launcher, but I'm not sure this is it. What we do get are some nice colour contrasting curved elements. Interestingly, the grey part is actually a mudguard. It's an interesting little build, but I'm not sure this could be considered festive. It's a little bit more interesting when you combine it with the clone trooper, but we have rules about things like that. Has this got what it takes to be gift of the day? We'll find out in a few minutes. Up next, gotta keep moving along. It's Lego City and door number seven is still down here in the corner. So let's see what goodness we've got here. We have a minifigure, which is always a good sign for a calendar. Um, oh, I wonder if that's related to yesterday. Uh, see this uh, young lady here has uh, what looks like some kind of horrible medieval weapon, but I think that might be meant to be a chainsaw. Uh, I don't think the Lego chainsaws really look that good. Um, but yeah, always good to get a minifigure. Um, I'm not sure whether this is exclusive or whether it's got any really tasty elements, but uh, I shall put it together and we'll take a closer look. Today's gift from Lego City is an ice sculptor complete with chainsaw. I love chainsaws, cutting edge technology. Seriously though, these things are dangerous. I had a family member get into an accident with the chainsaw. I still love my half-brother. This minifigure is well and truly tooled up. We've got a Lego hammer, very useful for driving screws into walls, and the aforementioned chainsaw, very useful for carving ice and murderous rampages. The minifigure is exclusive to the set, but does not contain any exclusive parts. She has standard dark azure legs with no printing. The torso printing is nicely done, but this torso is used on six different minifigures. You'll find more of that printed detail around the back. The facial print comes complete with safety goggles, which will definitely protect you from a chainsaw. I have no idea how these are staying on her face when she doesn't have a nose. Crowning the noggin, we have a really nice hair element. Nice it may be, but extremely common it is. It's always a good day when you get a minifigure, but it would have been nice to have had some new parts here. I'm not a big fan of this chainsaw element, I don't think it looks like a chainsaw. But overall, this has to be worth a point or two for the struggling LEGO City team. And our final calendar for today is the Marvelous Avengers. And door number seven is still here in the corner. I don't know why I'm surprised. <gasps> oh, and that has just raised LEGO City's game somewhat. Um, I think that's Black Widow. Uh, I never know what the... Uh, 
the batons or whatever are for, but, uh, oh, Christmas jumper. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, it's got snowmen on it and everything. Uh, anyway, a crinkly bag isn't gonna do this justice. I'm gonna go ahead and put together this minifigure and uh, this will probably sort the girls from the boys. So from those marvellous, marvellous Avengers, we have a Black Widow minifigure complete with Christmas sweater. I'm a huge fan of female superheroes. Wonder Woman, Black Widow, Captain Marvel. I'm just worried that I might be becoming a heroin addict. As minifigures go, this one is a stonker. To make things super festive, Black Widow comes with a pair of blue lightsabers. Well, I think they're probably meant to be ice batons. They look great in the light trans blue. You'll be unsurprised to learn that this is an exclusive minifigure to the Marvel Avengers calendar. The legs are, of course, stock elements. But the same cannot be said for that excellent and exclusive printed Christmas sweater. I love the snowmen and the hourglass symbol on the front. This is of course a very distinctive marking you find on the back of Black Widow spiders, just before you run away, really fast. More custom printing on the back of the torso reveals the Avenger symbol, complete with Santa hat. The Avengers aren't taking any chances with the bonus festive point today. The hair, a stylish bob, really fits the character. I love the way the hair flicks up at the ends and the colour choice is, shall we say, my thing. The facial expression is not exclusive and has been used on a total of 18 minifigures, many of those being Black Widow. The alternate facial expression is my personal favourite of the two. With this facial expression, she's ready to take on the world. She looks badass. As a bonus fact, I once dated Natasha, aka Black Widow, but I had to dump her. She kept roaming off. I'm a big fan of this minifigure, especially with the custom printed Christmas sweater. But will this arachnid inspired Avenger be enough to win gift of the day? I think it might be time to find out. And so we finally Avengers assembled our five festive gifts for Thursday, December the 7th. From Lego Harry Potter, we got this Zonko's merchandise cart. Lego Friends gifted us Popcorn the Gecko. From Lego Star Wars, we got the aptly festive Clone Trooper Command Station. Lego City gave us the Sculptor of the Ice statue we got yesterday. And from Marvel Avengers, we got this Black Widow in festive sweater minifigure. But which one of these gifts deserves to take home the world's cutest gecko for Christmas? And which deserves to be on the business end of the chainsaw? Let's award some points! In last place, earning one point for Lego Star Wars is the Clone Trooper Command Station. It's a bit of a grey blob in an otherwise colourful day. Coming fourth and earning two points for the boy wizard is the Zonko's merchandise cart. I never could figure out what these things were meant to be and that just put me off this totally. Coming in third, earning three points for Lego City is the Ice Sculptor minifigure. But Jeremy, I hear you say, isn't it always a good day when we get a minifigure? Not when we get Popcorn the Gecko from Lego Friends. On any other day, this little guy would have won, but he'll have to make do with four points in second place. The deserved winner today comes from the Marvel Avengers and is of course the Black Widow minifigure. I love the exclusive printed torso and with that facial expression, she is just badass. But do you agree with today's scores? Can I expect a visit from the 212th Attack Battalion for giving one point to Lego Star Wars? Or do I deserve to be bludgeoned to death by the Ice Sculptor for giving five points to the Black Widow? As always, please do share your thoughts in the comments. I do read them all, and as you know by now, I do respond to lots of them. So why not drop me a comment and say hi? Now the big question is, which one of these gifts deserves a bonus point for festive gift of the day? Star Wars is out, so is Harry Potter, and popcorn, I'm not really buying the holly thing. The bonus point must of course go to the Marvel Avengers for the festive sweater. After some third grade math, let's see how those points affect the leaderboard. In last place, no surprises, with 19 points, is LEGO City. Coming in fourth with 20 points, it's the LEGO Friends. Slipping to the middle of the table is LEGO Star Wars with 22 points. And in a terrible, terrible fall from grace, Harry Potter is in second place with 24 points. That means the Avengers have moved out into first place with a three point advantage and a massive 27 points. So another day is gone and we're starting to see some separation between the calendars. Don't worry if yours isn't winning, it just means it's terrible. Now terrible would be going away without leaving a thumbs up on the video and subscribing if you haven't already done so. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to check back tomorrow because I'll be doing the same thing but with different gifts. Hopefully something good this time. Until then, I hope you have a totally thrilling Thursday. Stay safe my friends, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow for some festive Friday fun.